Algetech International, a BioNexus company, has just recently launched its new product called Astitude or the Skincare with Attitude. We speak to its CEO, Datu Said Issa Said Alwi, to get his plan for the company going forward. Okay, Dato, thank you so much for agreeing to interview with us, Dato. So, we are here today at this very launch of your new product, Astitude, the skincare with Attitude. Maybe you can explain to us more about the company that produces this product, Algitech International. Algitech started about um, in the year 2006. Right. So, it's almost 10 years. In the beginning, we were doing a lot of research on algae technology. I stumbled on algae actually uh, basically because of renewable energy. That's right. how we started. And uh, while we were looking at into various types of algae, we realized that algae is not only for energy. Right. It is also for chemicals, for functional food. And um, in the beginning years, most of the time, we were trying to understand and adapt what exactly is our focus. I would say the first five years was wild years. Right. You know, because there were so many opportunities and we didn't know what exactly we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Only towards the end of 2010, 2011, we started looking into potential uh, commercialization and we realized that in order for us to make the bankers and the funders understand, we have to talk about a tangible product that will make a certain impact in terms of financial. I see, so your raw material is mostly algae. Are you sourcing it from local market or from the international market? The first train we brought in from United States. Right. And uh, like I said, mm -hmm. it requires a lot of adaptation. We localize it. Mm -hmm. So we made this algae strain that comes from the United States. Mm -hmm. It is a temperate weather strain from temperate countries. It lived in temperature of 18 to 24 degrees mm. in its infancy stage. But then it's got a few stages. Mm -hmm. It's got nine life stages. Right. Every single phase, we have to create the environment which is good for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, after so many years, I would say that we have already acclimatized this algae right. for right. asazantin uh, that can thrive and grow extremely well in Malaysia. Right, okay, and Dato, um, talking about uh, investment made into this company, we've heard about 27 million ringgit that has been poured into this. How do you source the fundings uh, you know, uh, for this project? With a lot of difficulty. Right. <laughs> Are bankers really that receptive towards funding this no, kind of project? No, 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 not at all. I mean, that being said, it is not their fault. Mm. You know, Malaysia is a country mm. where people do businesses which is familiar. Mm. And you can't blame them, you know. I mean, you talk about palm oil business, oil refinery, our country is lavish with oil and gas business. You talk oil and gas, everybody will fund it. Correct. But when you talk about algae, it is a big challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, even in the United States or in, the, in Europe, it is still a new thing uh, which is not on the mainstream uh, financing part where it's so easy to get money. Right. Because when it's not something that is familiar, there is no benchmark. When there is no benchmark, how do you gauge something is good or not good? Correct. You know, and that is the reason why it becomes a big challenge. I see. Now, in terms of your manufacturing capacity and capability, maybe you can explain you know, um, where it is manufactured and what is the capacity that you have at the moment? Currently, we have been running our pilot now for almost two years. Mm -hmm. And we are looking currently to be able to produce something like 3,500 kilograms of the raw material Per month but when it comes to Malaysia companies that actually produces or cultivate algae process the algae and then convert it into value-added skincare product we probably are the only one how would you remain competitive in pricing your products against other competitors in, in the market you know that there are hundreds if not thousands of brands out there correct and it is not something that you just go in you know because there's so many people using it First, you must entice people to buy that first bottle. Mm -hmm. When they buy that first bottle, the next thing is they're going to have a result. It is good or it's not good. Mm. If it's not good, they will never buy it again. Okay, that's interestingly, um, you have a lot of good projects in the pipeline. 
Is there, has there been any talks with potential investors to come in to and invest into your products? Um, it is really, really weird because right. in the beginning, it was like finding a haystack. I mean, needle in a haystack. Okay. You know, it's like I almost give up a few times. Right. Honestly, it's, it's been like uh, hell for me. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to get somebody to put money in and uh, convincing people. And the more money I raise, the more people come to give me more money. <laughs> so now I I I do not knock on doors. I I do not. Uh, you know, go and meet people, try to look for money because money come rolling itself. Right. But we are already talking to some giants of investors in the country now for potential further investments. Right. And I would say, not in a vain way, but sure. finding money now is not as difficult as it was when you just started. But you, when you have spent 30 million ringgit, mm -hmm. it is much easier to find another 30 million. But when you have spent one million ringgit, you want right. to find one million more, right. it is very painful. But uh, yes, we are keen on new uh, investors, but now we are a bit more careful and selective mm -hmm. because we want strategic partners. Money mm -hmm. is not cheap. Mm -hmm. And finding money, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. is also not that difficult. But we need strategic partners who understand where we want to go. Mm -hmm. Certainly, there are a lot of things brewing inside Algatech International. And its CEO, Dato Said Issa Said Alwi, is positive on the company's vision going forward.